Hi everyone, my name is Ellie and this is my first YouTube video. In this video I'm going to show you a printable mini album that I have designed. You can actually purchase this printable at my Etsy shop. The link is below. And the first thing I'm going to show you is the album, finished album that I have made. Um, these are just kind of like a little suggestion of what you could do with it. Um, I'm going to show you actually how to make the binding, which I did with paper clips and ribbon. Really simple. Anybody can do it, and it's cheap and easy. Um, first thing is, this is the album cover that I've made. These are just some Prima flowers. Um, this one's actually been Glimmer Mist. This flower is actually a fabric flower that I have made, and I'll do a tutorial on that. The bling is just some recollections. Um, wood chip is something, or this is a wood chip. This is just a chipboard piece. I'm not sure where the birdcage came from offhand, but this was in a group pack actually from Michael's for a buck. Um, and then I just have some Tim Holtz and Marion Smith trinkets on the side. All right. So let me show you my printable mini first that I've made. Um, there's a pocket here with some cards inside. The printable comes with one pocket, six cards, and two envelopes, and then 11 printouts of paper that are actually two on one. So there's 22 printed sheets. So this one's just a damask with some faux washi tape. This is one of the envelopes with a little card inside. A little typewriter, more faux washi tape. This is just a generic pocket that I made. And I just use this paper that's up here and just cut out a pocket. Use a circle punch to make a half circle here. Um, the tags inside, again, is just from one of the pages earlier that I showed you. This card, it does not come in the printable. This was just a tag that I had. I just cut down and rounded the corners, but I use this as a template to make this card. And then I just cut it out ink the edges, and then I can journal here and I can put a photo on the back. This page is actually mini chevron. Here's another envelope with a tag inside. And this is just how I laid my mini album out. You can do it in any way that you want. Um, there is one page that comes that's a smaller than the rest. Just kind of, I like kind of the uneven albums. And this has like a journaling spot. All right, so there it is. Now I'm gonna show you how the album comes. It's 16 total pages. When you go to print, you're gonna go into your printer settings. You're going to fit to page or fit or scale to fit, whatever your printer is set up to say. Um, and then you're gonna print them out in landscape. There are 16 total pages. Page number 10 is actually a filler page. Now, this one will actually print out, if you do in landscape, it'll print out like this, and you don't want it to print out like this. You actually want it to print out so it's all over the back side. And that's if you want to do it. This is just a page in case you wanted to cut it in half and have two separate pages. The binding that I'm going to show you, you're actually just going to fold it in half, but in case you don't want to do that, if you want to do some other binding technique, you're more than welcome to. It's just a suggestion. So I made a filler page that you can just print on the back and it's good for like the tags and stuff too. So you just have a little something on the back. So when you print them out, if you want the filler page on the back of all your pages, you're going to actually leave that in the portrait 
for printing instead of the landscape. So all the pattern paper you're going to print in a landscape form. The filler page you're going to print in portrait and you're still going to do scale to fit. So the filler page actually comes out on the print or in the in the PDF file, it'll be page 10. So if you want, you can go through and you can change your printer to print pages one through nine, comma, 11 through 16 in the landscape format. And then once you're all done, put your paper back in your printer. So however yours goes in, so it'll print on the back. And then you can just print page 10 in the portrait format, scale to fit, and you're gonna print that for 15 pages okay so here's how they're gonna come they're all gonna come on a sheet like this ignore this line at the top my toner is just getting low so it's on there yours I mean if you got good toner it'll be fine so these are just all the pages it's everything I just showed you in the mini album and you can print these out as many as you want like I did I print out an extra one because I made a pocket and tags and you can do whatever you want to these Here's all the pages, 11 pages of pattern paper, and then you get your envelopes and cards. So there's one envelope, two cards, there's a pocket and three cards, and another envelope and card. And then here's the smaller page. Okay. And like all of these, I have the filler page printed on the back. So your cards will have a little something else on them. All right, so let me show you what you're going to do to bind it. You're going to take one of your pattern papers. You can cut these out by hand. Um, I am not good at that. So I'm actually going to use a paper trimmer, at least for these, obviously, for the envelopes and the pocket I would cut out by hand, but for the pages themselves. So you're just going to cut along the line. Now, when you do cut them out, the edge is going to be like a little bit white. So what I do is I just go back through and I ink those by hand. And I'm just going to use Distressed Ink and Black Soot. And I'm just going to use my blending tool and I'm just going to take it across the, the edge there. And that's just going to cover up that white edge so that this faux inked edge will still look like it's inked. And all you did was just take your ink pad around the edge. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to fold your page in half and line up your corners. I can do this here. So then you'll get a page like this, okay? Now, for the binding, all you need is paper clips. These are really cheap ones from Walmart. It was 100 for less than a buck. You're gonna need two paper clips per page. And you're gonna need wire cutters. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your paper clip. And we're actually gonna just cut off this smaller little piece here, okay? Because you don't need that. And my cutters are right here. Okay, so we're gonna cut that little piece off, okay? So now you just got something like that, okay? I'm gonna do it 
to all of these. I'm just going to nip that little piece off. I'm just going to set them aside. When I actually put my entire mini album together, I just, I didn't do it all at once. I just kind of did one page at a time and did it that way. Then I'll just get a bunch of paper clips all built up. All right. So what I did is I took my paper along the crease and I found, I measured in about one inch from the edge. And then you're just going to mark it on that crease line where that one inch is. So it's right there. And right there. So I'm just putting a little mark on the inside. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take one of your paper clips. And these are going to stick out a little bit. So you're, you want to take it and you want to measure from be, right be, like where it bends to go loop around the other end. You're going to measure from that distance to where it is on the other end. You don't want to go all the way to the outside. You want to be in. So you're just going to line it up with that first hole about where that is and then mark your second one right on that crease. And then once you've done one, you're going to use this one as a template. So you don't have to go through and do all these for each one. So now my two holes are marked for each one. And then you're just going to use a needle, anything that you have that you can puncture through the paper. I actually just have, this is actually from my sister-in-law's, um, our bridal bouquets for her wedding. And they were cute, so I saved them. And now I'm going to use it for this. So now you're just going to poke your hole through. Okay, you're going to poke right through there. And you're just going to make a nice hole. Okay. Go through each one. Okay, so I'm just kind of marking where it goes. Then you're going to take one of your other sheets, or a couple at a time actually you can do. But you're just going to put one over top and you're going to use this first one to line up all your other ones. So you know where those holes are now and now you can poke it through to the other ones. Now it comes time to put the paper clips in. So you're going to come from the outside and you're going to put one in in one hole, just like that. You're going to work it in and then you're going to line up your other end and get that one poked in. Okay? And then you're going to do the same thing at the other end. Poke one in and then the other one. Alright, so now I have both in. I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to close these up on the inside. Just like that. Alright. And then you're just going to kind of work them out so then they kind of stick out as little, little loops. Okay, just like that. And the same thing with this one. So now it's like that. Now you can seal it in. You can use liquid or dry adhesive. I'm just going to use this because it's just simple and I love my ATG gun. I'm just going to put that dry adhesive around and then I'm just going to... Alright, so there's that page. So now we're going to do the other one. We have our holes poked through already. We're going to take paper clip. We're going to put it through. And again on the other one. And do the same thing on the other end. And then same thing. We're going to close them up on the inside. That's done. Just 
work them out. Okay. And then we're just going to put some adhesive on it, close them up. So then once you have all your pages ready, I'm just going to do a couple here. Let's grab another one. Then you're going to need ribbon or lace or something to that sort. And that's what you're going to feed through these loops. So I just have a piece of like ribbon. And I'm just going to put it through. I'm just going to pull it through. And we're going to go through just like that. Okay. Now you're going to do this to all your pages. And then you're going to want to adhere it to your cover. For my cover, I just use chipboard. Okay. This is the back and the front. Now how I did my cover is I just rubbed some ink all over it like an ink pad. I actually used this one. It was a dollar from AC Moore. It's Ink It Up and it's in Cranberry. So I rubbed that all over the surface and then I just took a blending pad and then I just rubbed it all in to kind of get it to fill in. And it leaves like a very neat, let me do it this way, see that texture? Just because the chipboard has a little bit of texture, it leaves that and it's really neat. I actually did it with a um, with brown ink and that turned out really neat too. And I'll show you, the brown kind of looks like wood and that's kind of neat. This is another one, and I still did the same same technique with the binding with the paper clips. All right. So you would rub that. You can paint it. You can print out another one of the pages if you like that, and you can put that as your cover. You can do whatever you want. This is just what I did. And then for this one, I actually inked the edge in the black, too, just to kind of go with the rest of the album. But you're just going to take um, a hole puncher, I have a crocodile, and you're going to line it up. Now these pages, the pages print out, and when you fold them in half, they print out to be 7 and 1 8 inch tall by 4 and 7 8 wide. So then I made my cover pieces a 7 and a quarter inches tall by 5 inches, just so it was a little bit bigger than the papers. And once you get the ribbon in both. Let me go ahead and put another strip of ribbon through this one just so I can kind of show you. I did not measure to make sure that it was like in the middle or anything like that. I just kind of eyeballed it and went with it. So first thing, put your ribbon through and you'll have it through all your pages and everything. Then you're just going to set your chipboard on top and you're just going to kind of see where this goes. So I know it's somewhere in here and I'm just going to mark roughly about the middle, about right there. And that's about in the middle. Okay. And then I'm just going to take my crocodile and I'm not even anywhere near that hole, but let's just make that a little bit further back and I'm just gonna punch a hole same thing on this end all right so now we have some holes punched and then you're gonna put your ribbon over and then I just use brads You can use small ones, you can use big ones. I'm going to use small ones because I made the hole small. And then you're just going to poke through your lace or ribbon at the area where you have that hole. You're just going to poke it in there. And then you're going to go on your other side. And you're just going to open it up. And that's going to keep it attached. 
just like that. Now, if you want, um, I didn't do it on mine, but you can, you can paint this. You can use the ink technique, and on the inside, you could use paper, and then that'll cover that up if you want. But you're just going to do the same thing on the bottom piece too. Just find your hole and open up your bread, and that's going to adhere to it. And then when you do the other side, you know, you can cut off any extra lace that you might have or ribbon that you might have. Um, of course, this is obviously going to be thicker than this. Um, but that's that. It's really, really simple. Um, I got the idea actually for this binding from Marion Smith who had used the Seven Gypsies safety pins, but those are kind of expensive just to use a binding because you need so many of them. So I was like, what can I use that's a little bit simpler? And that's where I came up with the paper clips for less than a buck and you can do tons of albums with it. So that's that. Um, real simple. Um, the download again for the printable mini album, it's $10, it's on my Etsy page, you get all the pages I showed you. When you download that, you can use the pages over and over and over again. So you can always keep adding and adding and adding to this book. You've got the filler page too, um, so you get all of that. 16, 16 printouts, one pocket, two envelopes, six cards, 11 pages, that's 22 pattern papers and one filler page. So again, the link is below. You can find it in my Etsy shop. And I also have a link below that links to my blog where I have other craft and ideas that you can do. Um, so be sure to check it out. And thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my video.